My name is Allison Kaufman. Um, I am a research scientist with the Department of Ecology and Evolutionary Biology at the University of Connecticut and an adjunct professor with the Department of Psychology at the Avery Point campus at the University of Connecticut. And my area of interest in my research is the idea that a lot of the things that we already measure in humans, a lot of the things that we examine in humans may also be um, apparent in animals and may be things that we can examine in animals. Um, at the moment, my main focus is on intelligence and in, on creative abilities. And these are both things that we do see in animals, although we see them differently than we see them in humans. Um, at the moment, we are working on taking problem solving and intelligence tests that have been developed and validated for humans and looking at adapting them so that we might be able to use them with um, some species of animals. In general, this is with primates, sometimes with parrots. Uh, and then we are also looking at using creativity tests that have been developed for people and looking at um, innovation in different species of animals and that work at the moment is primarily being done with marine mammals, dolphins in general. Um, and that will give us information about the abilities of these other species and that is particularly interesting to us at the moment because it gives us an idea of the types of environmental and evolutionary pressures that could have created these abilities. So if you compare for example us to marine mammals or us to parrots, we come from very different evolutionary chains. We, our common ancestor with both of those types of animals is very, very far back. So it is unlikely that we carry these abilities, these innovative abilities, as a result of having the same common ancestor, which is what's called homologous evolution. It's much more likely that we have these abilities as a result of analogous evolution, which means we've developed them independent of each other. So the idea is, if we developed creative abilities and dolphin develop, dolphins developed creative abilities, what pressures, what um, things in the environment caused both of those species to develop those sim similar abilities? What created, what forced us to do that? For example, something like an adaptive spe an invasive species. If a new species comes to an, an, er an area where it's never been before, that requires a certain amount of innovative ability. The food source is new, the potential for shelter is new, the predators are new. And if that species is not innovative and doesn't quickly adapt to the situation, they won't survive in the new environment. And that is potentially something that would lead to a more innovative species. And that's an evolutionary pressure that would um, increase that ability in the species because of course those with, the better, with more ability to innovate would survive longer in a new environment.